Just think of what Q could have made for James Bond if 3D printing was available. Or maybe it was, and that's how he was able to create those high-tech, one-of-a-kind gadgets. Although 007 was fictional, his organization, MI6, and its US counterpart, the CIA, are real. And for them, being on the forefront of cutting-edge technology, including 3D printing, is a priority. So let's take a look at some of the 3D printing companies that the CIA has invested in and some of the potential ways those technologies could be useful. The intelligence arm of the government, shrouded in secrecy, invests in many companies developing cutting-edge technologies that could serve national security interests. 3D printing is one such technology, mainly due to its ability to create custom-made objects quickly and easily with minimal waste of materials. Rapid prototyping, on-demand manufacturing, and customization are all aspects that a secret agency would like to have. But to keep up with the moniker of a secret agency, the CIA does not partner themselves with tech companies directly. Instead, they use a non-for-profit venture capital firm named Incutel. Chartered by the CIA in 1999, Incutel uses its financial backing to invest in high-tech companies to provide the latest technology back to the CIA. These investments give the CIA the ability to steer these companies in certain directions and allows the agency to take ownership of any tech it deems useful. And with over 500 companies in its portfolio, you can be sure that Incutel will have its hands in any new tech, especially 3D printing. The name Incutel is an intentional reference to Q, the fictional inventor who supplies technology to James Bond. Now, on to those companies. One of the first 3D companies that Incutel invested in was not necessarily into 3D printing, but more of a 3D scanning and modeling. Fuel3D is a UK-based company that develops 3D scanning solutions for a variety of industries, including medical research, security, and retail. Fuel3D specifically specializes in handheld 3D scanners, such as their Scanify device, which provides high-resolution, full-color scans in just seconds. In 2016, they developed a mirror-based 3D scanning system for customizing eyewear. The high-speed 3D capture collects facial data in 0.1 seconds. In 2017, the company announced a high-speed desktop scanner for imaging small objects such as ears. They also introduced a portable 360-degree scanner that can capture scans around the size of a human head and shoulders. High-precision 3D scanning opens up some interesting use cases. Aside from the CIA using facial recognition software to track and identify targets, the technology is also a perfect partner for 3D printing. Using a portable scanner, you can scan the face of someone and print a realistic mask for impersonation. Or scan a valuable item and create a perfect replica in order to deceive security and walk away as if that item was never touched. With the usefulness of wearable technology on the rise, a 3D scanner would be perfect for the secret science lab to quickly custom fit any watches, earpieces, or glasses needed for an agent. Aw, oh, shit, I like this! Another early investment by Incutel was the creator of the world's first multi-material 3D electronics printer, Voxel 8. Basically, the company's printer enables designers and engineers to print embedded conductors, wires, and batteries into 3D printed objects. Voxel 8's desktop 3D electronics printer features dual material capabilities by combining a fused filament fabrication printhead with a conductive silver ink printhead. Now this process removes the need for independent circuit boards and actually builds the electronics within the model, which allows robotic and electronic devices to be printed faster and smaller with little retooling. One example the company used was their printing of a drone helicopter in one print. Just think how quickly Q could have made those little devices for Bond if he had a 3D printer with these kinds of capabilities. Voxel 8 got a lot more interesting after being acquired by Cornet Digital in August of 2021 by unveiling its Active Mix technology, which allows the printing of high-performance elastomers that cover a wide range of material properties. Active Mix can print complex 3D printed objects with a range of properties and then embed that object into textiles. Using this, you can change the feel and durability of clothing, say for making an armored bulletproof tuxedo. The company then went a step further and unveiled their Active Lab digital fabrication system, which combines both the Active Mix and electronics printing technologies. 
This system can print electrical components directly onto textiles, which can be used to monitor the vitals of an agent or embed control sensors into a coat to perform commands such as turning on a car or activating a distress signal. Voxel 8's technology can embed the electronics, but you're going to need some high-tech materials to connect them together. This is where Incutel's next investment comes in, Electron Inks. Since its founding in 2013, the Texas-based company has grown into a cutting-edge developer of conductive inks. A conductive ink is a type of printable ink made of silver or other metals that can conduct electricity and be printed on a variety of materials. This type of tech allows for the printing of circuitry at very small scales and retains unique properties such as flexibility. Their new particle-free silver ink is compatible with aerosol jet printing processes, which allow for printing at high resolution on the nano scale. Combined with this printing process, the particle-free ink is ideal for interconnects within mobile and wearable products, sensors, and displays because it reduces the size and weight of electronics. Size and weight are large factors when it comes to secret agents like 007. Rarely are these agents seen carrying large backpacks and suitcases. Thus, their many gadgets and weapons must be lightweight and concealable. In 2017, Incutel invested into a company that specializes in those lightweight materials, specifically carbon fiber. By using its continuous carbon fiber printing, Arivo developed a new solution for making ultra-strong and lightweight composite parts to replace traditional metal parts. Continuous carbon fiber printing is unique as it uses two print heads, one to print material and the other to print continuous carbon fiber strands, which results in a much stronger finished product. The final products are robust enough to substitute aluminum while weighing only half as much. This type of strength and lighter weight can really be used in almost any application you can think of. Continuing with the 007 theme, weapons come to mind as most are made of high-grade aluminum steel. However, drones seek the most benefit from this technology, as weight and stiffness are two of the most important factors. Add in the technology we've gone over earlier, involving smaller integrated circuit boards, and you have the ingredients for pocket-sized spy drones that would be invaluable for reconnaissance missions. Incutel highly regards this carbon fiber printing technology, so much that they doubled down on it in 2020 when they invested in Mark Forged. One of the leaders in industrial 3D printing, Mark Forged has the technology and resources to push the limits of continuous carbon fiber printing. And with this investment, the CIA Science Lab could make use of the Mark Forge X7, an industrial 3D printer that actually prints functional carbon fiber parts. Now, those secret spy drones can be printed lighter, durable, and with integrated circuitry. But one major aspect is missing, communication. Drones use radio frequency signals in bands such as high frequency and ultra high frequency to communicate with the controller. The next company specializes in such technology. In April of 2022, Incutel made its most recent 3D printing investment with Fortify. The investment came shortly after the company announced it developed a multiple low-loss dielectric materials for use in high bandwidth, high-frequency radar, and communication systems. Their custom Flux-1 system can print objects and materials that can enhance wideband performance for next-gen radar and communications, specifically devices using 5G. These materials allow for long-range, high-frequency communication between the agent and their drones or communication devices. This can help the agent communicate vital information in remote locations. For example, if an agent is in a forest and needs to communicate with their team, printed devices in these materials allow the agent to send a message that will be received clearly and quickly. This can be very helpful in situations where time is of the essence, such as when there is an emergency or when the agent is in danger. I think I got the thrust of it. Although all of this is speculation, with some sci-fi added in for fun, from the outside it does seem like the CIA, 007, and 3D printing have a bright future together. Thanks for watching.